the 2010 Sun Belt Conference uh, football preview. Uh, what's going on, Nick Taylor? Oh, nothing much, man. Just soaking uh, in some baseball right before football kicks off. That's right, man. Let's jump right to it, man. Uh, New Orleans Bowl champs last season. Uh, I like for them to, to uh, you know, great off season. I like to springboard them into the 2010 season. What do you, what's your thoughts? Oh, yeah, they're definitely, in my opinion, going to win the Sun Bell. I mean, they're, they're a good team. You know, Florida Atlantic and Troy are really good teams. But to me, there's no doubt that Middle Tennessee is the best team in the Sun Bell. Not only that, but I think they're going to uh, really hammer Minnesota that first week, and that's going to be our Wisdom Wednesday pick. And our Wisdom Wednesday is going to be basically where I, uh, along with uh, my website, Sports Atlas, uh, in conjunction with the Sports Science Network, make a pick every Wednesday and encourage people to uh, make that pick. Those that uh, do that kind of thing for entertainment purposes only, and those that don't, can, you know, just simply listen to it. But, uh, well, that's and right. And speaking of the Sports Science Network, uh, breaking news on Tommy Tuberville and his 2004 Auburn squad. Talk about that. Yeah, we have decided, uh, in fairness, uh, and we're going to make Auburn uh, the 2004 Sports Science Network National Champions. We feel like that it's uh, unfair for Southern Cal to keep an AP championship after they basically been sanctioned. And we're also going to look into... And, and, and Tommy Auburn. actually accepted. Yes, he actually accepted. We talked to him earlier this afternoon, uh, or earlier today, and uh, he actually accepted of uh, the honor. Well, you know, that's great stuff, and uh, we all know the Auburn Tigers are located in, in the heart of Alabama, and another team in the state of Alabama, the Troy Trojans. So I think they'll finish about second, maybe third in this year's Sun Belt. What's your thought? Yeah, they're a good, they're a good ball club. Uh, really high on Florida Atlantic. I know they lost Rusty Smith, but Stella Berger's doing a good job there. I know that they came off of a, uh, came off of a win, uh, and then, and, 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 uh, you know, uh, at the end of the year, and I think they actually won a bowl game. Uh, what was it, uh, six years ago against Memphis? Yeah, that's, so, that's correct. They have, so they've laid a foundation uh, to be a good team. And of course, being a Florida school, it's so easy to recruit uh, being a Florida school. I mean, there's so many great athletes down there that made the Division One program miss. And not only that, Sometimes academic standards are too high, and some schools for some kids to, you know, go play where they want to play, and they end up in a Florida Atlantic, but maybe they're actually SEC caliber, and they just end up in the Sun Belt for whatever reason. Well, I mean, let, let me tell you about a surprise team in the Sun Belt for the 2010 football season, uh, Arkansas State. I really like what they're doing right there. I, I'm not going out on the limb or anything saying they're going to make a bowl game. But watch out. Maybe in a couple of years they're going to do something. I really like what, uh, you know, Steve Roberts is doing and Ryan Afflin uh, going to be the quarterback this year. I really like what they're doing. Uh, they, they showed me a lot of promise in how they finished the last year. You know, uh, they did beat a Western Kentucky, a Florida International. So, I mean, even in North Texas, I know North Texas was up to par last year. But watch out. Arkansas State's a pretty decent program on the rise for that conference. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And also, also, what is it, September 18th, Legion Field will be the uh, the site for the Troy Trojans going in to take on the rival UAB Blazers. I kind of like UAB in that game. I don't really like UAB that much this season. I think it's the last call for Neil Callaway, but I think he may even win that Troy game. It's possible, it's possible, but you know, the thing about thing about the Sun Belt that impresses me the most is they, they've been able to get more contracts uh, for more bowl games. Uh, and they're, provisional, they're the provisional pick in about three or four bowl games. And uh, the Papa John's Bowl in Birmingham is one of those, is one of those bowls. The provisional pick, for those that don't know, is a pick where a conference does not fill its slot. Perhaps it has too many teams or not enough teams. Uh, to be eligible to fit their bowl game. And so, uh, the Sun Belt will probably have as many as uh, three extra bowl teams this year based on their new bowl agreement. Uh, the the, uh, the Penn Stock Bowl, the Papa John's Bowl, and, 
or, or just two that come to mind, and there's uh, several others. I think the, uh, or whatever the St. Petersburg Bowl is called now, is also one as well. Well, that's right. I can't wait. Um, Sunbelt, there's actually going to be that big game on Thursday, September 2nd, uh, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, Middle Tennessee State will host the Minnesota uh, Golden Gophers. Well, there you have it. We're going with the uh, Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders uh, for the 2010 Sun Belt Conference champion. And also, breaking news, Tommy Tuberville and the 2004 Auburn Tigers are awarded the Sports Times Network National Championship for the 2004 football season. Congratulations. And, Nick, once again, what did Tommy Tuberville tell us? There you have it. We're out.